Hi, in this video I'll go into more depth as to how I made this DIY mining enclosure and how you could probably make one yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. One thing I do want to mention beforehand is that this was my first time doing this and I'm not a professional or anything, I just wanted to give you my advice on how I made it and the conclusions I have with this one, some mistakes I did so that you don't do them so on and so forth, but at the same time might be a bit of a long video so for the sake of simplicity I just go straight to the point and probably will try to do everything in one take. So anyways, let's start. Firstly, let me get up this ladder here. For those of you who are curious, these are the insides, well this is the inside <laughs> of the mining box. You can see I have three A6, a Core A1, and two Dayum 61s. The way this works is pretty simple. Let me just get down again. Oh, and I apologize for my office being a mess. Uh, I really should clean it, but just been having some issues. Anyways, back to the topic. The way this works, pretty simple. It pulls in fresh air from, let me get this, this intake here, which has a metal strip filter thingy avoid any objects from going in and then just simply expulses and um, throws out however you want to call it the hot air through these tubes now it is important that i actually designed in blender 3d program and 3d printed myself these adapters here there's one in there and might be a bit hard to see but also there and for the one below and so on so that all the hot air from the machines go straight out into the tubes and don't actually leak into the enclosure itself. The only hot air here would be, well, I guess those still given out by the machines, but especially the ones given out by the power supplies. Although that one's fine, it just gets recirculated and out again. It would be an issue if the hot air from the machines were to leak here, because that's quite more powerful and will probably cause it to overheat and so on. But anyways, so that's the thing really, uh, an issue, a mistake I made, was the fact that I had already planned everything beforehand, so I drilled three holes in this like plexi thing adapter I did for the outside, because I knew I had three machines, so I thought on using one tube for each machine, but I noticed that this one, since it was a, high, it's a higher power one, it actually gives out 2.5k watts of, of, well, it uses that for energy, Meaning, meaning it gives out more heat than each one of these ones it actually could not run from a single tube I had to use two meaning that suddenly one of them didn't really have a space here I guess I could cut another piece of plexi thing with four tubings and so on but I'm fine just having this one run straight out outside I do have an aircon so it's able to keep up perfectly but yeah that was a mistake in my side but anyways, now with that said, how could you probably build your own one? Well, here are my advices on it. First thing, let me get back in here again. Picture how you're gonna have all your machines set up before doing anything. Some people make one enclosure for each machine, and I'm not really gonna stop here, you can do whatever you want. But in my case, I just had these three, so I might as well put everything in one place and that's it. But yeah, make sure you more or less know how they're gonna go beforehand. So I already knew these two were gonna be like this with the power connections this way, this one on this side, power supplies here, a bit more extra space there, blah, 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 blah. Then take measurements on more or less how tall it has to be, how, how wide, how much depth. Take into account some room for like airflow to go into the sides, all that stuff. Make sure you also, in case you had to, go bigger rather than smaller, because it's harder to work in tighter spaces. And once you have that, then build a, your material, um, sorry, buy enough materials according to the measurements you're gonna need. In my case, I just used wood. It's basically a wooden frame, it's like this sturdier wood uh, thingies, all making a frame and then just seal with this thinner wooden uh, plank things for the sides. I did use thicker wood for the lid, 
and the bottom side since it was obviously going to use more weight I did not insulate my lid but the only reason I did so is because this is not fully finished but um, yeah <laughs> and for insulation I just used some well, I guess like foam coal whatever this is called it's actually I actually reused it from a old electric thing I had where this was like for the cars to bump into rather than just straight out the, the walls and so on but usually you can just buy them in like one times two uh, meter long <laughs> plank thingies god in my english it's so horrible today i'm sorry for that and just cut it to again your your required needs in my case these were like in like strips already because of that thing so i just kind of put them all together as a puzzle um make sure that when you do that well first you're gonna have to build the frame itself again i used wood you can use whatever you prefer i just found this to be the most economic one and as long as you insulate it well it shouldn't really be much of a fire hazard but i guess it could always be so do take that into account too first build the frame then seal everything before putting the insulation well actually yeah that start with the bottom so like put the insulation at the bottom first then put the machines and more or less cut where the vents are gonna be now like i said these are adapters that i designed and made myself you might not have them but you could possibly just simply push the machines all the way into here and then still have some cutouts i just found this to be better for airflow because it would be more directed but honestly you can do that however you best see and yeah more or less mark where the machines are going to go to later on drill the adequate holes for the exits and so on then you can take out the machines again finish putting all the remaining insulation oh well do the cutout for the intake too in my case i kind of thought this was going to be best and it more or less was but if you want this to be full, full soundproof, the intake tube also has to be tubed, like just like the outtake. That way it's all a closed system and you won't get any noise leakage. The way I designed this was that I knew these were going to be at the sides and the intake at the center so that noise from the fans could actually bounce a bit here and get absorbed by this insulation and not just go straight out in case I would have made the intakes here. It would have helped for airflow, but it meant all the noise would just go straight outside. This was well thought, but there is still a lot of noise leaking from the intake. I can't really put, have it running now, otherwise I wouldn't be able to speak, but yeah. It would just be a case of, more, of adding some more tubes in here that go into the outside, and that way it's again a closed system, pulls air from, uh, from the outside. You could have a filter there in my case i have a filter over there a hepa car filter where it pulls the air in and then it goes into here and outside the machines do all the airflow work and it does restrict airflow a bit like temperatures inside this enclosure are not as good as when they were just like running sitting here making a lot of noise but it's not too bad, you know, as long as it doesn't thermal photo, which they don't, it's perfectly fine for me at least. So yeah, that's that. And well, of course, a little room for a switch, so all the machines could be connected here. And then through a little pill hole, which I'm not sure if you might be able to see down there, I have the wires, ah, my hand, going out the case through here, like the power wires for the, for this thingy. But again, I forgot the name. Power regleta, we got it in Spanish. Hell. <laughs> so, yeah, more or less to keep everything as tidy as possible in here. Even though I did use one big main power supply for one of these ones, but I had to use two computer power supplies for the other one. And there's just a lot of wires in here. But yeah, I also put this um, rubber thingies around the outside of the lid so that it would seal properly but again i made a mistake of not giving this enough space so when i actually close this there is <laughs> quite a gap because it doesn't really close well because it 
applies more pressure there than here so yeah that was it again a mistake on my side but at the same time i found out it kind of helps because usually i run it like this it still reduces noise but it kind of allows some of the hot air produced by the power supplies and so to like dissipate from here and so on but again if you want to do this properly make sure you take that into account and well we're actually reaching the end of it really not sure i'm sorry i don't have any footage of like how I bought any of this or how I cut it and so on. Um, I'm making this after I did all of that since I made a post showing how this was done after it was finished and many of you requested to know how I did it so on and so forth so I wasn't really able to do that but at least I hope that my uh, <laughs> all this talk I've given you how I made this has at least been some use i know again it's not the best and i'm not i'm not a professional of this at this or any of that but i at least i thought i'd share how this went and as some final conclusions um well like i said make sure you plan everything beforehand you take all the dimensions according to the machines you're going to use if you want this to be fully soundproof don't have it th in this setup where it just pulls in from the room and outside actually also have the intake be connected to the outside so that there's no noise leakage and any of that um, remember that all of this does restrict airflow the fans are working harder than when the machines were just sitting here with nothing on it temperatures might also be higher so you might need to have an aircon or something in order to compensate a bit um, but yeah that's really that's really it. I hope it's again it's been of any use. If you had any further questions, unless after making this take I remembered any and might add it now. I mean after I edit the video, but if you had any questions feel free to ask me and that's it for now. Thank you for watching.